Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to easily influence the Google three pack in 2021 with local justifications. Wanna rank in Google Maps? Watch this. Hey guys, turn that gray thumbs up to a blue thumbs up. Hit that like button, share and subscribe. All right, guys, so I'm sure a lot of people are saying, what is this? What is he talking about justifications? What do I need to learn now? Old wise one, please teach me. Well, it's real simple. You already know it. Justifications are located underneath the, uh, the phone number in the Google Maps, and it, and it um, has the keyword that you were looking for. So, for example, uh, you'll see the first one says sold here, accent chairs, right? And um, sometimes it would say something like uh, this website mentions accent chairs, or it'll say something like uh, uh, the reviews mention accent chairs. But there's actually seven types of ways to be mentioned here in the Google 3 pack, and that's going to help influence... Uh, your, your three pack ranking. Now, look, it's not the only factor, but if Google sees that you know you have a review on a, a specific keyword, in this one I'm using accent chairs. By the way, the original article for this is on Moz, and I have it in the uh, description below. So, all images and examples uh, I, I took from Moz I'm using as an example, but I gave them the link below so you can check it out and read a little bit more later on. But I'm going to sum it up. So uh, there are actually seven types of justifications that we're going to go through this video, and I am going to teach you each one of the justifications. So the first type of justification is one that we all know. It's called review, right? And that's when you get a review from a, from a customer and they mention the service that they got from you. So for example, if you're a Brooklyn electrician, they may something, say something like, I was looking for a, an electrician in Brooklyn to handle uh, my commercial uh, needs and uh, so on and so forth. So they finish up with the, with the review. So they actually use the keyword. In this example, uh, somebody is reviewing Sprouts Farmer Market and uh, I guess the search was for organic produce. And you'll notice that the word organic is in bold. So what am I saying? When you give your client a review link, and I can't tell you how many people I speak to, I'm like, how many reviews that? They're like 13. And it's like, you know, you deal with people all day. Well, I feel funny giving the asking for a review. Well, your competition doesn't feel funny. I feel funny having to close my business because I can't afford to keep it open because I only got three reviews and my competition has 500 and uh, people don't trust me. So I feel, I, feel, I feel sorry about sweeping a supermarket, right? So you got to pick the thing that you feel less funny with. So if you do a nice job, what you need to do is you need to give them the review link and you just text it over. In the next uh, slide, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. When you finish your job, just text them over the review link. I'll show you how to do it. So guys, inside your Google My Business, if you just go to business.google.com, once you log into your Google My Business, right on the home screen, it says, um, get more reviews. So all you do is just click this. Very simple, copy. Now, what I like to do is I email this link to myself, and then I open it up in my cell phone. And what I do is I just take this link and I text it to myself. Now, this way, whenever I need the link to send to a customer, I have the link right on my cell phone. I just copy it, I send the text message to a customer, and I just paste it in the text message. And when I finish a job, I said, if you, you know, if you liked our service, feel free to leave us a five-star review. Uh, sometimes, especially when, you know, in the beginning, it wouldn't be a bad idea to ask them to please mention 
you know, the services that they performed and where they were performed. So, for example, a Brooklyn electrician, right? So you want to mention the, the GL, where it was, where the service was performed, and then you also want to uh, mention the keyword. Okay, so that's, that's real important. So that's the first type of justification. It's called a review justification. And I would not suggest that all your uh, reviews be optimized using keywords in GL. But, you know, uh, you know, 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10, something like that. Yeah, 6 out of 10, somewhere around there, should be optimized uh, properly. All right, that's going to help you. The second one is called website justifications, and that is where you have the keyword mentioned on your website somewhere. So in this example, we're using jewelry repairs. Well, if, you're, if you repair jewelry, and uh, that's, that's one of the services that you do, you should have that on your website. Uh, I speak to many customers who are looking to rank for keywords that they, they make no mention on their website that they perform that service. So if you're trying to rank for a specific keyword, you need to make sure that you have a page about that service that you perform. In uh, this case, it's a jewelry repair. You need to make sure that you have a, a page on your website that mentions that service. So this is my favorite one. This one's called GMB Post Justifications. And I love, love, love uh, doing GMB posts because I believe I do it, uh, all right, I do it better than anyone. I do GMB posts better than anyone. I believe that. Prove me wrong. I'll show you the next example. But uh, a GMB post is where you put in your Google My Business on the posts section, and I'll do it for you, is you put the service that you perform. So for example, if you're a jeweler, a, a jeweler or if you're a, uh, an electrician, you actually post that service on your GMB. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it uh, in the next slide. All right, guys, so I picked uh, one of my clients here. It's a Knoxville electrician. And you'll notice the GMB post. So if you click post, this is the section that you show up in, right? And you'll notice that we use the keyword in the post. We use the NAP, which is the name, address, and phone number, as well as the website. And we use the logo. That is really important. Google does read images. Now, once we create this image, we blast it out to social. We put it on Tumblr's. And uh, I'll do another lesson on that. Don't just create your image and only post it on Google, um, on GMB Post. Uh, share it out. Share it out. That's what they want you to do anyway. See what it says share post and you're able to, you know, share, share your post. Okay. So let's go over the post for a moment. First of all, I have the keyword in the post. Then I have a small little 50 words about the post. Once again, the nap. This is a link to the website. To that specific page that we're trying to rank, which is electrical services. This is a Facebook link. And then over here, we have a, a a link to the Google Posts. So if you click that right here, it'll pop up and you will see the Google, the Google Posts. See that? That's nice, right? Okay, now the other thing that I wanna show you is if you type in Knoxville Electrician and just hit images, you could do this on your own computer. Look at this, we're killing every single image. We monopolize the entire image search with all our images just about that's all foster electric <laughs> right so that's the reason why i say we're best at it we're the best at it and it does help with rankings uh it definitely helps with rankings they're, very, they're ranking very very strong so you you need to take a look at your posts 
do your posts exactly the way that I'm doing. Freeze this page and do your posts exactly the way that I'm doing, the way that I'm doing the posts. All right. The next one is called the services justification, and that's done within the GMB. So in the next slide, I'm going to show you how to add services to your GMB. All right, guys, so super simple, super simple. All you do is just go log into your Google My Business, click Info, and then on your Info page, if you just scroll down, see, right here, these are your services. So just list your services. Just list your services. There you go. Just list your services. Very simple. Okay. So, hey, listen, it's not a guarantee just because you have a repair fan that if somebody's looking for you, um, you'll show up. It'll say, um, uh, uh, services mention repair fan, right? But it's a good idea to have it. And in some cases where they add um, uh, that justification, you know, um, it's a good chance that your, your services justification will show up as a, a fan repair or install fan or whatever services you have. So go through your Google My Business and make sure that all the services that you provide have, um, are listed. And then the other thing is you may want to create a page for each one of those services. Now, it doesn't have to be done in one day. But, you know, each week, just create a new page for, for each one of the services. So the next one is a menu justification. Now, the reason why I'm including this is because I do have people who sell food or restaurants, and that's, that's a real important service. Uh, but the reason why I say that is that a lot of restaurants don't type out their menu to add on their website. What they do is they create a PDF and that PDF won't be read by Google, meaning that um, you see where it says uh, menu highlight salad? That should be typed out and put on your website rather than just a PDF added to your website. So. Um, yeah, so that's something that's really important. Try to get your original files from your printer and add that, uh, add that or it needs to be retyped. But uh, add, it, add it to your website. Don't just scan a PDF and, and, and put it on your website for your, for your menu items. Guys, if you run an e-commerce store, you'll want to use uh, two programs. One is called Pointy. Or you could use something called DBA platforms. And what that does is it integrates with Google, and Google is able to uh, read how many, uh, how many items you have left of that particular service. So, for example, if you're selling Nike sneakers and you have a, a size 9 um, and you're down to your last pair, it'll, it'll be able to... Uh, check your inventory and it'll let the, cut, the consumer know that there's only one pair left, right? So uh, this is just for e-commerce websites. So it's a good idea. Just take a look at it. It's, uh, it's called Pointy and the other one's called DBA Platform. Now it takes a little while to get approved. It's not an overnight thing, but it, it's something that you may want to look into if you have an e-commerce an e website. All right, guys, so the last one is, is uh, called the sold here justification. And that's really a mystery because uh, nobody could really pin down as to where Google is getting this information from. Uh, there are people believe, that, that believe that it's just aggregated through other websites and other means. So, for example, you know, maybe you've posted about it. You had a Google review. Maybe it's mentioned on your website. Maybe, you know, uh, your Yelp page and uh, all your other citations when you list your services or products sold 
have you know accent chairs on them or whatever service you or product you you know you have so uh what what some people think is that maybe it's just aggregating it's just it's just collecting information throughout the web and saying okay look they sell they sell nike sneakers here right so you'll sometimes see a sold here so those are the seven justifications look look at it like this this morning you didn't know what justifications were when I explained them, you're like, okay, well, I know the reviews, I know the GMB posts, I know the websites, but we added four more. So everybody learned something here today, including myself, right? So I hope this lesson helped you. Uh, my name is Brett Maletta. I'm with MindSaw. If there's anything that I could do to help you in regards to either uh, coaching, right, doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching, or uh, taking you on as a new client, or just giving some really quick advice, Please feel free to get in touch with me. My uh, cell number I've added to this video. You could text me at any time. My email address is brettmoletta at gmail.com. And, uh, you know, just feel free to get in touch with me anytime. And the most important thing is that you be good to your family. Please, you know, make sure you kiss your wife, kiss your kids, uh, clean up around the house. Right. Sometimes we think just because we make money that we don't have to do anything. We just we make the money and, you know, the rest of the family has to do what they No, no, no. You got to do everything. Right. You got to do everything. So get up there and, and help out. Help out. That's that's very romantic. Also, I found out when you when you clean up. It's very romantic. Go walk the dog and stuff like that. So, guys, until Friday. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. And listen, i got to get my subscribers up. So if you lasted this long, please subscribe and like this video. Thanks a lot, guys.